We are back at the auction, and we're going to start on the opposite side of the room today, checking out all this Easter stuff. I really like these beaded egg runners. They're very neat. Like these guys down here, there's two older pieces and a newer reproduction. I like the soaps. Definitely some in there that I really was interested in. This whole box of walls, flowers, Yankee Candle, all different scents. There's some lemon, there's some Halloween. These were pretty neat too with the different air fresheners. But candles. Checking out this blow mold here. I really like that one. Got some musical instruments. An Xbox, beer signs. Thought that was a cute little tin. Lots of cast iron. Well, not a lot, some. Some very neat clocks. I actually like this one here with the painted scene with the birds on it. That's a very nice one. And we'll check out this table. Lots of pewter. Pewter as far as the eye can see. I like these Christmas items. Like the little pixie there. This was interesting. It ended up being a new piece with a barcode on the bottom. I was a little surprised at that. But lots and lots of pewter. Candlesticks. If you liked pewter, this was the sale to be at. Now this table full of items was actually from me. I sent all these things in. Some perfumes, candle wick, some vases, glassware, some made in Japan pieces, this cool Barbie bus. Some toys. I bought these out of an estate and they're not my thing. <laughs> and so I just decided to send them in. I sent all these bakeware sets in just because the shipping on them would have been astronomical. The Lance cabinet here, I really like that, but it had a broken piece of glass and a lot of rust at the bottom. So I decided to send it on in got some comic books this was a neat lot lots of neat bookends those pins i ended up picking those up we'll talk a little bit about those in the haul portion of the video as you can see there's a really nice assortment of them Lots of little cars. Great artwork too. I really like this one. That ended up going for a pretty penny. Some patches. Some jewelry. Then a lot of really neat artwork. We're going to just skip past that one there so we don't get in trouble. <laughs> but there were some really interesting pieces. That I really liked. And I did end up picking that up. So get a, just a general overview. Real nice assortment of stuff this week. Now we'll check out the box slots. As you can see, there was just a mix of items. 
like I always say, if you need just general household items, this is the place to come. You can get some really good deals. Like wrapping paper. If you need a whole trash can full of wrapping paper. Or a giant teddy bear. Or another trash can full of wrapping paper. <laughs> Just a lot of stuff. And more over here. This all came out of the same house. They had a lot of stuff. Christmas trees and just baskets. Cookie cutters. Just ribbon. I mean, a whole box of ribbon. And then here's some more over on the side. And I have to say, sometimes it shocks me. Like that box of bags back there. There were probably $20 retail worth of bags and it actually brought $20. So sometimes it, the box slots shock you a little bit. But for the most part, you can get some good deals in here. Lots of baskets. Christmas lights. Wreaths. Just all sorts of stuff. Here's some clothing, new with the tags. Some more Ziploc bags. Nice coffee table and table set. See the chest. Cool bikes. Move it out here. Nice pub table. Really nice sofa. And then here's where we get into the very interesting items. Mid-century dining room set. It's cool lamps. Little plant tree. Little poster. Okay, we are back with what I bought at the auction. So I'm gonna sit here for a little bit. It was a long, it was a, you gotta move these, these one things, sorry, the aroma coming off these air fresheners, way too strong. So, so now that those are moved, it was just like in my face. Um, it was a long night. There was a lot of things to be sold. There were a lot of people there you can tell it's tax return season folks because the stuff was bringing really good prices i had to pay up for everything that i bought i bought two maybe three things that i'm going to resell the rest is actually useful items i'm going to use around the house but the two things that i did buy i think will more than pay for everything i bought plus a nice profit once i sell them Let's start out. I went out to the fur, excuse me, furniture room and decided to bid on some of that mid-century stuff. I did not want it to go for nothing. So I thought I'll go out and see what I can get. I bid on the cork lamps. They went for $90. I stopped at 85 just because they didn't have the original shades. And we'll get into the other reason. 
I bid on the pole lamp. That went for $90. I bid on the metal wall art. That went for $150. I bid on the cool lamp with the wood circles on it. That went for $90. And I stopped bidding on all that stuff because, yes, there probably was a little bit of money left in that to make a nice profit. However, those were mainly things I would sell on Facebook Marketplace. We don't sell a lot of big things at the time, Bob. It's mainly little stuff. I did not want to ship that stuff on eBay. That was just too much. And I don't know about you, but in this area, Facebook Marketplace, unless you're selling something very useful like a lawn equipment piece or patio furniture, um, or you're selling something dirt cheap or you're giving something away, you get a lot of, is this available? Yes, it is. And a conversation. Or a lot of people that lowball you on things and when you look at their Facebook profiles, you're going, they're selling the same kind of stuff I'm selling. So I guess they want to buy this and flip it. Um, that's great. You, if you can do that, that's wonderful. But I'm here to buy stuff, to flip it, to make a little bit of money. So I can't sell you something at wholesale unless I got it for below wholesale. And then we'll talk. But um, so I didn't get a lot. Um, Let's go up to the smalls. The one thing I went in for myself, there was that odd shaped blow mold pumpkin. If you're sitting down, you, I'm glad you are because it went for $80. Yes, $80. It was a little sun faded. You can buy the same one on eBay for under $40. And they're in better shape. The gentleman that bought it, him and his wife, they're a young couple. They have come out of the woodwork re as of January. They show up every time there's a blow mold and they pay crazy prices for blow molds. More than you can buy them for online and have them shipped crazy prices. He bought that and paid $80 for it. My advice to somebody that wants to go to an auction, if you see something and you want to bid on it, check the sold comps before you bid on it because you could have bought two of them for the same price that you paid for the one. It just, that's the dangerous part of an auction if you really get into it. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the cat out of the bag. I ran him to $80 on it because he had this look on his face like, I'm Mr. Tough Guy, I'm going to get this and you're not. And that's a bad look to have on a face in an auction house if you don't go there on a regular basis. Um, he bought the pumpkin pail. He paid $35 for that. Somebody else, he had the same look on his face and somebody else made him pay that. He bought the new blow mold and paid $25 for that and it had a big crack in it. Somebody else, it was three different people he was bidding against them. The other person came up to me after the sale and said, I can't believe you paid for that. No, that's just how it goes. But I always say you learn a lesson when you go to an auction. Eventually you catch on. That's my spiel about that. But I did buy two things to resell. The first thing I was really kind of excited about, and I think I did really well with it. So... This cool 70s wall art, you hang it on an angle like this. It was made by the Turner Manufacturing Company. It's called a fashion plate wall accessory. It's glass. It's really cool, probably from the 70s. And they actually sell really well. I'm gonna put that on Facebook Marketplace and see how it does because I really am worried about shipping it with the glass, but um, I'm going to do a little research on it because the ones I have seen that have sold have sold really well. So we'll see about that. The other thing I bought was the giant box or flat of band pins. These are, I'm pretty sure, from the 80s. I think they're kind of new old stock and there's ones like that say squeeze ACDC, The Police, there's a record, uh, let's see here, 
trying to find one that I'm like, there's that guy. Uh, this. The jam. But there's 165 of these in the bag. So a nice big bag. There's, I'm just gonna, there's Black Sabbath pins. There's the B-52s, the Ramones. Very cool lot. I'm actually gonna take these up to the vintage, Central Pennsylvania Vintage Fest. We will be there on March 23rd. It's in Williamsport. Now, when I say we will be there, it'll be me and Miss Ruth. Sarah's gonna be on vacation. So this weekend, we're having a vintage yard sale at the store. If you're in the area, there's gonna be fill a bag of vintage clothing for $10 or three bags for 25. So make sure you stop by the time bomb Saturday from 10 to six and check that out. But the following Saturday, I'm gonna drive up to Williamsport and we're gonna vend and I'll have some, I'll have these there. I'm gonna probably do like one for three, two for five on them and blow these out. Plus I'll have some vintage Pyrex and a couple other things. Not to mention we'll have cool socks, sunglasses, uh, jewelry from Martha Rotten. If you don't follow her on Instagram or social media, you have to go check out my buddy Francine. She has some really cool pewter jewelry. It's a little dark for some people, but it's a very interesting. It's made out of cast animal skulls, bones, doll heads. Francine has a very good following, very quality merchandise, great stuff all made by her and her husband Pete out of their shop. They have an amazing house with amazing stuff. So Francine, if you're watching, we'll be selling your stuff on Saturday, the 23rd. And of course, we're gonna have racks of vintage clothes. So make sure you stop up. It's in Williamsport. The It's at the Pajama Factory from nine to four. And you can see me and Miss Ruth selling our wares. We're gonna do a mother-son kind of thing and uh, have a good time and, and blow some stuff out. So stop by and see us. Well, that's enough about my plug. Now we're back into the useful things. So I also bought this entire tub of hand soaps, most of which are Bath and Body Works. Do, 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 do. Let me see here. I'm trying to find some of the, like there's the peppermint one. There's another peppermint one. She really liked peppermint lemon chiffon. Um, this one's another peppermint. Here's a Halloween one. They're mostly unused. Um, and I'll take some up to the shop, put them in the bathroom so we have them. And then the rest I'll just use throughout the year. But they're mostly Bath and Body Works, like I said. And they're just, like I said, they were never used. They were put away. Mm, that's a nice lemon one. I like lemon. So... Got a whole tub of those. I also bought, let's see if I can pick this up without the box breaking. Ah! I bought a whole box of these room fragrances. There's like the white bar and limoncello. They're 99% full, but there's like all sorts of them. There's Christmas ones, there's perfect pumpkin. Smells good, but these are nice to have around. So I picked these up, lemon sherbet, that smells good. These I like to spray around in the bathrooms, around the house, when we have company coming just to freshen it up a little bit. And a lot, of, sorry, this is a lot of, a lot of smell coming off this. One of the, <laughs> one of the, is either in this box or in here. It leaked a little bit when we brought that from the house. <laughs> it's strong. But the other thing I bought was this entire box of the wallflowers from Bath and Body Works and Yankee Candle plus the plugins. So we got some cool Yankee Candle Halloween ones. This one still has a tag on it. But there's probably 30 or 40 of these wall fragrances 
um, that are for wallflowers, never used, lots of lemons, lots of falls. She really liked that. And I'm going to be honest with you, I think there's probably more somewhere in this stuff. We haven't even gotten through a quarter of the stuff, but there's just a ton of these. All different flavors, scents. So, um, use those around the house. The only Easter thing that I got, um, I like some of those little composite bunny, bunnies, but my buddy Jason wanted them. So I play nice, let him have them. Was I bought two of these Beat It Easter runners. And I'm gonna put these on the table, but they're just really nicely done. They came from Kohl's. They were originally like $60. And I got them for a pretty reasonable price. I just liked them. I thought they were nice. They're very nicely done. They also came with two sets of these placemats and a tablecloth. And I might check these because some of these older Kohl's tablecloths and placemats that have never been used. Actually, this is a round one. Hmm. That might go on the kitchen table because I don't have a round one for Easter. So yeah, that might work out. So I might check into the placemats to sell those. Um, we'll, I mean, we'll see what how they do, but I got those pretty reasonably as I dropped one of the mats on the floor. But that's just how auction goes. Sometimes you get stuff, sometimes you don't. Um, who knows, next week I could end up with a whole carload of stuff, but I'm okay with that. So if you like the video, make sure you like and comment, subscribe. Subscribe is very important. We're almost to 500. Like I keep saying, once we get to 500, I'm gonna do a little giveaway. I don't know what it's gonna be. So leave a comment down below. Um, if you like anything that you saw, leave a message, excuse me, leave a message. <laughs> I'm losing my, again, the scent. Leave a message down below. It's a lot of scent for one area. Plus it's 70 degrees outside, so my allergies are through the roof. And they'll be back down again this weekend when the temperature drops. So anyway, if you like anything that you saw that you're interested in, such as maybe the placemats or some of the pins or the, the wall art, leave me a comment down below. Always like to hear from everybody. But I just wanna say thank you for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.